What do we got? Got this great Beatles slip your wig game from 1964. I'd like to show you. OK, um, that's pretty cool. Oh, the Beatles board game. Have you ever played it? No, but I've seen it before. I'm a Beatle fan. I love the Beatles. I have two kids. My son's name is John Paul. My, my baby is George Ringo. So I'm guessing your kids hate the Beatles. My kids hate the Beatles. <laughs> they do, really. <laughs> I got this game in 1980 at a flea market in Chicago, Illinois. I'm a big Beatles fan because there's so much to collect and there's always new stuff coming out. I want to sell the game today because I have way too many things. It's just too much and I don't want to be a hoarder, so I'm selling it. This is interesting. They've got a pretty cool history, pretty strange history to them. There was already a band, then the record company came along and said, we're going to change into this, 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 and this. And they pretty much said, OK, we'll do what you want. And then, you know, as time went on, the band got a little weirder and stopped caring what the record company would say a little bit more. Exactly. Next thing you know, you got Lucy in the Sky of Diamonds as a hit song. Yeah. Looks in good condition. It's in great condition. I'm pretty sure it's just a Candyland-style, no real strategy board game, right? Yes, it's really not complicated at all. And I've only played it, you know, four or five times. And what you do is you roll the dice. You have your Beatle cards here, your Flip Your Wig cards. And you want to get each of these cards. And then you basically win, and that's it. OK. During the height of their career, the Beatles had their faces on just about everything, from dolls to shoes to lunch boxes and even candy. But since there's such a wide variety of merchandise, it's going to be hard to put a value on this board game. So how much are you looking to get, man? I'd like to get 375 for it. OK. Um, my problem with Beatles stuff in general, man, is a guitar that was used by these guys worth all the money in the world. But I don't know what a board game is worth. Let me have a buddy of mine come down here. He's actually British, and he's a big Beatle fan. So let me have him come down, take a look at it, and see what he thinks it's worth. OK, perfect. Great. All right, Chum, you want to give him a call? Yeah, hold on. And hang out. Check out the store, man. I'll grab you when he gets here, OK? All right, thank you. I welcome the second opinion, but I don't think the guy will know as much about the game as I do. Well, here, what do we got today? The Beatles flip your wig game. This is part of the merchandising that came out in the wake of the Beatles being on the Ed Sullivan show in 1964. Mm -hmm. All products burst loose from that moment on. It's got right on here, 1964, NEMS Enterprises London. That was the Beatles management company. All right. 1964, everybody wanted a piece of the Beatles, so merchandise exploded. I've seen a lot of hair pomade from Southeast Asia. And I think the Beatles' whole revolution was they were the guys that didn't use hair pomade. So give me an idea. What do you think it's worth? Fact is, they probably made these for, for 20 years. So they're very, very, very easy to come across on the internet. The collectors are going to look at it by condition. Okay. The box is fairly clean, but it's got dings. It's got a few little stains. Each one of these knocks the price down a couple of bucks. In mint condition, uh, just like it came under the Christmas tree in 1964, $175. Wow. In this shape, 80. 80 bucks? Yeah. Yep, worked. That's why I called you down. All I had right. no idea. <laughs> All right, have fun. OK. The board game's only worth $80 because probably a million copies were printed. If you want one for your Beatles collection, just wait until you get a perfect one. They're out there. All right, so you asked for $375. You heard my guy say it's yeah, worth yeah. $80. That means I'm going to offer you $40. Bucks. I thought he said it was worth 80 for you to give me. That's no, what no, my no, interpretation. No, 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 that's what I Should we get, get him for? back? Because that's what I thought he meant. I can tell you what he meant. <laughs> you know, it's one of those things, dude. There's so much of this stuff out there. People never threw board games away. So 40 is your limit right now? That's the most I'm going to pay, man. I'd rather keep it for that price, hey, you know? If you change your mind, I'll be here, all right? All right, thank you for the info. I'm kind of happy that he lowballed me because, you know, when I brought the game here, I was thinking, you know, I never played this game with my children. So I'm going to play the game with my John Paul, George Ringo.